when you got to put a napkin at the end of your cutting board to catch all the juices coming out of a pork tenderloin like that bone in pork roast prairie fresh thank you again and there is no question about it we mastered it Hey guys, uh, Masters of Smoke here cooking with Master Built, and today we are doing a eight bone-in pork rib roast. Thanks to our friends at Prairie Fresh. It's very good. That is an incredible looking piece of pork. I love that it's got the, the bones, so if you like ribs, you like pork chops, this kind of gives yep. you the best of both. So thank you, Prairie Fresh. And uh, guys, this is probably one of the more simple recipes because we're going to be doing a rotisserie on the master but gravity 560 um so first we're going to put the spit rod in we're going to season this thing up we're going to get it on the grill it's going to take about an hour yep. total recipe five minutes to an hour we 45 think five minutes to an hour stay tuned let's get it so the first thing we want to do is get this on our spit rod you go right in the center of that pork and push that all the way through and get both of those spits to go on top of that to lock that in. Then we'll go to the other side and get that on. And the goal when you're doing this is to make sure she's good and tight. So I'll get one to go into the meat and the others to go on the outside, give it a little bit of a squeeze down to hold it into place. I think we're good to go. And then what you wanna do is take it with your hands and give it a spin to see if she's locked into place like she needs to be. That looks really good. Today we're seasoning up with some Dirty Bird from Cosmos Q. Thanks guys. That gonna be great flavor. I love the fact it's got some brown sugar in it. I love that on my pork. So we wanna completely coat all sides of this pork. That brown sugar is gonna caramelize on this up really, really nicely. Super easy. You can put your favorite barbecue rub on there if you'd like, but I've done some cooking with the Dirty Bird before, and uh, oh my gosh, that stuff is good. All right, so we've got this seasoned up really nice. We've got the Gravity Series grill set at 400 degrees and we are going to put this on so we're going to place this on the gravity series grill just that simple so a quick pro tip we recommend when you are mounting your rotisserie just simply come to your grill and turn the temperature down to disengage the fan long enough to mount your food and then re-engage by turning the temperature back up to 400 degrees or whatever your set temperature is, or wear heat resistant gloves. So we're 15 minutes into this recipe. Spritz with apple, great apple juice. O M G. So our pork is at 145 degrees internal temperature. This recipe takes about an hour and 15 to an hour and 30 minutes. Turn the grill off, turn the rotisserie off, take this baby off, cut into it. That is a fun, good <laughs> looking pork roast right there. We're gonna let it rest for about 15 cut into it so I must say this has definitely mastered it give John boy a piece he's doing a little camera work there and that is what you want to do when you do your next port recipe it is a flowing river of juices eight bone-in pork roast Done on the master built Gravity 560 with rotisserie. Fun and flavorful like I have never 
experience, but several times. We mastered it. Wow. <laughs>